There's a butt in my face. There's a butt in my face. Who does that while you're trying to film? Get your butt out of my face. Listen guys, I'm a people pleaser. I like to please the people. My dog thinks she's a cat. Please excuse my, my, my attire today. I just came from the gym and I have to talk to you. I got something on my mind. You know, here on Glam and Gore, we do, we do the whole gamut of makeup. We do the beauty, we do the effects, which means sometimes I'll get requests like, hey Mikey, do a drugstore tutorial so that you know we can see some beauty makeup in a, in a smaller budget. And that's a great idea. There's so many videos like that and they're fantastic. Some other people are like, hey Mikey, I missed some FX videos, let's do some FX videos. And I'm like, yeah, it's a good idea, I miss it too. And then a lot of other people have been liking the stuff I've been putting up lately, and they're like, yeah, do more of that. So I figure today, we can do all three. We can do what I want, we can do what you want, we can do what Ripley wants. And what I want today, more than anything, is to be Spongebob. Oh, wow! But I want to challenge myself too, which is why I would like today to do an FX makeup version of SpongeBob SquarePants using only drugstore products. That's what I want. I was going to plan it out, like exactly what I'd need and, and need to, to do and get and stuff, but I think it's going to be better without a plan. So that's what I'm going to do. And we're just going to see how it goes. I'm gonna try my best, I really will. I will try my best. With all that said, I only have one question for you guys. Are you ready, kids? I can't hear you. If you said anything, I can't hear you. Cause, cause I'm, I'm here and you're there on the other side of a computer and I'm filming by myself right now. But I'm gonna assume you said aye aye, Captain. So, oh! Who in a pineapple under the sea? Burn, burn, square, plants. See what we got here. You know I'm gonna hit this up. This is the jackpot probably. Cause Nyx is the best drugstore makeup. Hey Sam, what you doing? So I was thinking that I would color myself yellow with one of their Jumbo eye pencils, but they don't have yellow. Of course they don't have yellow. <sighs> but they do have this in yellow, which is a full throttle shadow stick. I have not tried this one yet, but I hope this will do the job and I'm gonna need both. Spongebob glitter pants? Should we should we put glitter in Spongebob's pants? That's kind of torture or abuse. Let's not do that. I got a black eyeliner because we're gonna need black. I'm just I'm just in the Nick section. I should move on because I probably have all this at home anyway. This might end up being like a realistic human looking Spongebob, which have you guys seen those illustrations? Someone made them into a realistic, creepy version of themselves recently, and they were so dope but terrifying. I think we might be trying to do that because I'm not sure how I'm going to make this super cartoony with what we got going on. So I'm going to find real lashes to replicate his very distinct little three eyelashes. I'm not sure which are best. These are pretty good to cut up. Oh, it just occurred to me that that's Nicole. <laughs> hey Nicole, I'm getting your lashes to be Spongebob. Did you ever think anyone would be picking up your lashes for this exact purpose? I bet you didn't. Uh, I thought this was Benefit because it looks just like benefit stuff, but but nope, it's not. Who is this? Who is this imposter? Honestly, I just went through this whole wall and there just isn't any bright colors or what I need, so I'm already back, Nyx. This is where we're gonna find everything. Good job, Nyx. Thank you, Nyx. So I didn't think I was gonna go this route, but truthfully, I'm not sure how we're gonna get this yellow sponge kind of texture on us without perhaps a yellow sponge. So I think I might get this. Or maybe get a couple yellow loofahs and like make it crazy and then maybe cover it in latex. Oh wait, we don't have latex. Or do we? You know, there is latex here. Ingredients, rubber, latex, boom. It's not quite the FX latex we want, but I think it'll work if I just get approximately a million of these. And this is why doing FX makeup at the drugstore is not good on your budget the way that doing beauty makeup is. Ugh. All right, come here. You know what? I debated for a long time between real sponge and loofah and trying to make the loofah work. But honestly, it looks like it could work until you spread it out and then I feel like it's it's not gonna end up looking right. And I want to really give it my best shot. We only have these four sponges, so we will make do with what we have. I'm looking around the store for other texture things I could maybe use. Oh, oh, I know what I need. Duh. You. 
I need you. <laughs> Duh. Eh. Look, I don't know how this is gonna go, but I feel like this might come in handy later, so we're getting it. Do you trust me? But really, do you trust me? <laughs> Just kidding, I need this. Why would I need this? <sighs> Some people like pipe cleaners. I like fuzzy sticks. You know, we never meet SpongeBob's dad in the show, but I think I just found him. Wait, and his mom? Oh my god, reunited at last. You know, this is, this is a test. It's not like snot or anything. You know, this might be more useful than latex. Because I don't need to put this on my face necessarily. Yes. And I think lastly, I'm hungry. Really hungry. Perfect. I take it you oh, need a bag too. Yes. Okay. Being SpongeBob is expensive. <laughs> Just left Walgreens with all the things. I don't think this is gonna go well, but that's part of the challenge, right? Okay. Ugh. And I didn't get anything I didn't need this time. But this is officially more expensive than going emo. <laughs> I know I'm pissed too. You might save money going to the drugstore for beauty makeup, but you won't do it at FX style. <laughs> Step one, eat Lucky Charms. Just kidding, this is actually the perfect size for my face. See you. I don't see shit actually. <laughs> Bottoms of the eggs from the putty. Pipe cleaner, jewels. But I think these eyeballs are too small. So I'm trying to space it all out on here before I cut a hole in here for my face. Silly putty is acting as teeth at the moment and it keeps getting stuck to the, to, to everything. So I'm gonna replace this with some cotton pads right now to mark my spot. I think the eyes definitely need to be bigger. So the way we're gonna do that is good old cotton and latex. A few moments later. In case you're wondering, things are going well. So far I've made my head square. Well, rectangular. It's held on by a pipe cleaner. Very fancy. Wow, that's a good look. I'm still not sure how the nose is gonna work. And uh, I have a smile for my teeth eventually. Something like that. I think now what needs to start happening is, uh, I look like one of those cats that sticks their head in bread. You know? <laughs> I think what needs to happen now is I need to start sponging this up. And we'll go from there.
Hi, checking in halfway to tell you that it's starting to come together. I'll be done in no time now. <sighs> Mom, Dad, are you proud? Time to apply to the face. Time to become a mouth breather. Ugh, that doesn't feel good. Oh my god. I can't believe it's come to this. I can't believe everything I've ever done in my life has come to this moment. One eternity later. For drugstore makeup, bae. Oh, actually, most of this is not makeup. It's just a bath sponge on my face. I, this was, I didn't think this through. I can't breathe through my nose. I can barely breathe through my mouth. And I can't see, and you probably can't understand a word I'm saying. This is probably subtitled right now. Also, this turned out to be pretty much just like a mask, which was not the intention. I wanted to have like moving parts. I was going for aesthetic over function for the sake of getting her done and it still took like probably like seven hours maybe not seven i know i have no clue what time it is even if i could see i don't have a watch so that that makes things difficult so it's kind of a mask except that you can't remove it because it's glued to my face so yeah it's an interesting setup i got going on here i don't have arms or legs but a real sponge doesn't have arms or legs either so i'm just getting more realistic when you think about it that's the video for this week i hope you enjoyed it and you have sufficient spongebob nightmares after this i have a cereal box on my face so please subscribe if you like it you should subscribe because I like to have subscribers, obviously. You should also hit that bell, that little bell thing next to the subscribe button because I just glued a bunch of sponges to my face and it cost me $150. And put on notifications because YouTube sucks at telling you when things are doing things. Uh, ow. Ow. I just tried to check my phone as though I'd be able to see anything on it. That's how you know you're addicted. I know where my camera is, like I know the back of my hand. This is a bad idea, but I'm glad I got it out of my system because I, I was really excited about life earlier today. If you remember, just mere moments ago for you, but a lifetime ago for me. And, and now I just want it to be over, so. Glad we did it. See you next week. Bye. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh God. Oh, oh no! I'm not a society.